I went to a couple of scientific conferences in China, and there's young people your age doing world-class work in my field, and I'm sitting there taking notes. And, and I'm amazed because they're pushing the frontier. So if I'd come here 40 years ago, it would be like coming to another planet. It was very poor, mysterious, different. There would be nobody I could talk to about economics, um, the kind of economics I do. And the country was operating under theory that, that markets were bad, entrepreneurs were bad. It was bad to make, try to make money. Someone who actually believed that for almost his entire life, Deng Xiaoping, and he thought markets didn't work. Because Marx said markets collapse. He's, and he's very practical. He's not a theorist. He's not an academic. And he asked his economic advisors, um, why was Marx wrong about markets collapsing? And um, he asked, what's the situation in China today? And then what should we do? And then he decided, he, just, he's, he and his colleagues, the leaders at that time, said we should open up and we should, re we should have a more general definition of socialism. He, the coin, the term socialism uh, with communist characteristics is going to have a big role for the market. And then if you look at the things he said, he had a lot of faith in the Chinese people and their values. He said they're smart, they'll work hard, they're energetic. He said let's unleash that and then uh, open up. And then he said it in very simple convincing ways and he, and he did and he said let's do the experiment and then um, started slowly kind of sensibly and then and then look what happened you know it kind of worked what's happened in China is a miracle you take the big picture I buy goods everything you see here was made in China um, you missed um, I've seen the Chinese quality of goods increase for a, Christ, for a birthday present, I just got a drone. It's made in it's made in Shenzhen. You should see how beautiful it's designed by Chinese engineers. To tell you the truth, China is producing more scientists, PhD, high-level scientists um, than the United States is. That when Deng Xiaoping, China's producing basically a very small number, but now they're producing a very large number. You know, I'm a teacher. I deal with students. I, I've had a number of, in the last 25 years, I've had a number of Chinese students. They got very good educations in China. They have wonderful values. They work really hard. They're smart and they're creative. And then I become friends with them. We start working together. I want to know what they're doing. And I don't even think of them as Chinese. You know, I don't think of them. I just think of them as friends and, and scientists I want to learn from.